Mankind has been establishing faith for 6,000 years. There are many religions on earth and several texts of God's word, too. But mankind did not understand what the purpose of the word was. They did not understand that the word saves mankind. The word. The word. Then what is the word? If we pick one word, we cannot say simply that we already understand the meaning of the word. One might say, yes, I know. I learned by heart the whole book of the divine principle. It will be meaningless. This is not like school study. Memorizing the school is definitely fine. To memorize it is good. Even though we don't understand the meaning of the content, if we can write an answer, then we get 100 points. In school, as long as you know the right answer, even if you don't know its meaning, it's fine. In short, if we copy out the whole book, you get 100 points. Then you will pass the exam. It has nothing to do with heart anymore. If we learn it by brain or intellect, it's fine. If we don't understand the word, the word in our heart, religion is meaningless. Where does Satan stay? Where does Satan exist? Everyone who came and attended this seminar today for the first time, Satan is like that. Oh, oh I see. Today, we have a guest who has not listened to the Divine Principle yet, haven't we? Everybody, do you know the Divine Principle? Are you okay? This is a physical mind. Oh. And this is a physical body, this is a physical mind. And this is the spirit body, and this is the spirit mind. Okay, got it? You understand? All right? Then, well, God dwells in this spirit mind. God dwells in the spirit mind. Then, in the physical mind, Satan exists in the physical mind. Everybody, please understand this clearly. Unless you understand this, it won't mean anything at all. No matter how much you listen to the word, it is meaningless. In myself, in me, in the physical mind in me, Satan exists. Everybody, please know yourself clearly now. Unless you understand this, even though you listen to the word, there is no meaning. It's useless. And to know only how to listen to the word, cannot give us salvation. Satan exists in me. And Satan exists in my physical body and my spirit body. In me, God in me has been abused, stamped underfoot, and tortured by me for 6,000 years. That is God in my spirit mind. Who tortured God? Who tortured God? I. It's me, myself. Everybody. Each of you. I have been torturing God in myself. Do you understand? I have united into one with Satan. United into one with Satan. I have been torturing God inside me. In my physical mind, Satan exists. Therefore, my way of thinking my idea is the same. My way of thinking, my idea, my words, my action. And these are united into one with Satan, up to present. Everybody has Satan's way of thinking, Satan's idea, Satan's action, as we live life each day. Really? Oh. Yes, that's right. Therefore, your family does not become better, right? Your children and your husband do not become better. The relationship between you and your family members is bad. 
Everything is bad, right? No, I don't have such a thing. No, sometimes good and sometimes bad. Today we become close to each other, and tomorrow we are fighting with each other. Like that. Do you agree? Who does not agree? No, I am always happy. I am full of joy. Where is the kingdom of heaven? What is the kingdom of heaven? The world of only joy. This is the kingdom of heaven on earth. Only joy. Really? That must be the kingdom of heaven, mustn't it? <laughs> that's, yes, that's right. It's the kingdom of heaven. The world of only joy. It is such a dream world, isn't it? Children go to the amusement park. Already they are full of joy, 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 right? Oh, this time I will ride this, I will ride that. Oh, animals over there, they are lovely. They express a lot of joy. It lasts eternally. This is the kingdom of heaven. It is not true. We have 20% joy, but 80% pain. I have no money. I cannot go where I want to go. I have no food either. You may say that. Everybody has been restricted by Satan. Hmm? Even though you have money, however, you have no free time. Generally speaking, those who have much money have no spare time. They work so hard, therefore they have money, but they have no spare time. And those who have spare time have no money. They have plenty of time, but no money. In any case, they are all suffering themselves. Why do such things happen to them? It is because Satan exists in them. First of all, please understand this diagram clearly. This is myself, now. Then, therefore, at the beginning, there was a give and take action between the spirit mind and the physical mind. However, Satan invaded here. If Satan enters the spirit mind, our salvation is over. Human ancestors Adam and Eve fell, and we have made this earth world hell, so that we may not perform a give and take action between the spirit mind and the physical mind, and then God started the providence of salvation. Therefore, what do we need through these things? We need the Word, God. God has no form. God intended to save us through the Word. Therefore, everyone understands the Word. Why? God exists in me. God. But I don't believe in God. No, God never exists. No God, no Buddha. You say so. However, once the earthquake has come, God, God, please help me. The thunder will fall. We will say, my God. Those who say so always say, God, God, please. And don't you think it's interesting? Those who say that they never believe God or Buddha always say, I'm afraid. The earthquake has happened and the ceiling is almost falling down. God, God, please. They say that. They know it. They know that God exists in me. They know that God exists. Everybody knows that God exists in them. Yes, God exists. However, nobody notices it. They do not notice that God exists. And they do not notice what God is either. Therefore, if we want to be saved, first of all, we should know God. Therefore, today, please study God clearly. Then, my unhappiness, this is Satan. This Satan which exists in me is the cause of unhappiness. The cause of unhappiness is this Satan that exists in me, is the cause of unhappiness. Do you understand? The cause of unhappiness is Satan, which exists in me. I think you may not understand it. Those who are sitting at the back have not understood it at all. For the past 10 years, still, they have not understood it. Therefore, all of you who listened to the word for the first time and said, I understand this, this is only intellectual understanding, you don't understand it. I dare to say to all of you, you don't understand it all now. Then 10 years later, you may say, oh, I truly did not understand it. 
Then the word is precisely God. The word, this is God. God has no shape, therefore came down to earth bringing the word. Do you understand? Then God's word is exactly God. Love, light, life. And God's word is nothing else but the Savior, the Savior. If you understand only this, it's enough. Goodbye. That's it. I think that today you are full with this word. To understand the word in the heart is enough. It would be useless if you listen to the word anymore. And tomorrow you will look forward to tomorrow's lecture. Hmm? I think for now it's too much. The word is God, love, light, life, and Savior. I said, do you know that? But what have Christians and the Unification Church been saying? We need the word. However, the heart is more important. Our heart is more important. They have been talking like this. Now, this is God here, right? They have been saying that the heart is more important. Heart is more important. Therefore, this Satan is more important. We have been saying like this. More important? What do you think? Do you think it is important? I have been saying this, that Satan's heart is a self-centered heart and a heart of sexual desire. What way of thinking is this? The desire of maintaining ourselves, the desire of maintaining our physical body. This includes the desire of honor, desire of position, desire of property, and sexual desire. They all belong to this. We have been saying that such way of thinking is more important. Christians and UC members have been saying that. The word is important, but this Satan is more important. Repeatedly, they have been saying that this is more important, and put Satan more and more. Therefore, the more we listen to the word, the more Satan invaded us. Okay? And so far, the Holy Bible, the Old Testament, the Divine Principle, has been teaching us this side. Rather, they taught us God. The Divine Principle teaches God. On the contrary here, the truth rather teaches this side. The truth teaches Satan. It teaches God. 95%. And Father taught only God, therefore he could not teach Satan. 95%. The divine principle has been teaching us God. Then I teach you here this word. This is the truth of the cosmic truth. The truth of the cosmic truth. We call it the holy tenet. We call this word the holy tenet, holy laws. Here I teach Satan rather than God. The holy Bible and the divine principle, according to the Father, is a summary of the Old Testament and the New Testament. This is the divine principle. 
All of you know it, don't you? Father said that he just summarized the Old Testament and New Testament. I did not say that. This is the divine principle. It teaches God. The truth is the realization through 5% of the divine principle. The divine principle is 95%. It teaches God. And the truth is 5%. Therefore, it is easy. Easy. 5%. And what does the 5% mean? What does 5% mean? Hmm? For example, 95%. What is 95%? For example, leg. What kind of leg? Tail. What kind of tail? How about the internal organs? Eyes, like this. Ears, like this. The whole thing is 95%. Do you understand? What, what is it? A dog? A monkey? An elephant? <laughs> This is the divine principle. We do not understand the whole clearly. Here we teach this is a cat. A cat. Ah, it is a cat. This is the truth. The answer is a cat. Therefore, 5% it is easy. Oh, I see, it is a cat. If you understand the whole about a cat, then you can understand everything in detail. Still, are there those who do not know a cat? There is no one who does not know a cat. It's really an eccentric person or odd person. Who of you does not know a cat? Everybody knows that. It is a cat. Now I understand. It is a cat. Then, I say to the Unification Church members, it is a cat. It explains a cat. No, no. It cannot be a cat. No, they say. Father explains that eyes are round. <laughs> a tail is like this. A foot has like a ball of flesh. Therefore, I say it means a cat. No. Then they don't understand a cat. Therefore, they don't understand a cat. Therefore, is it an elephant? Is it a tiger? Is it a monkey? They have been still talking about it to each other. Therefore, I say it explains a cat. I am explaining it to them. However, they don't understand it. This is the unification church now. It is very serious, the 95%. They know it clearly. They know from a cat's internal organs, its color, its fur, and legs and feet. They know everything about a cat. However, they cannot answer a cat. One day, I was listening to the words spoken by Reverend Sudo. Although it was short, when is he going to talk about a cat? When he will answer about a cat? I've been waiting for his answer about a cat. He explains the whole thing very clearly. And when will he give us the expected answer? A cat. He could not show us the answer of a cat to the last. While I'm explaining this, somebody may truly think that it is a story of a cat. I am shocked by such a person who listens to my word literally. What is a cat? This is another thing. Then, therefore, the word is exactly God has no form. God tried to save us through the Word. Therefore, the Word is exactly God, love, light, life, the Savior, and in addition, heart, true heart. God's Word. Everybody says that the Word is important, but heart is more important. You said the self-centered heart is more important. It's wrong. The Word itself is God's heart. Right? Yes, heart. Therefore, heart. Do you understand? The word itself is God's heart. And the heart of this side is, uh, this is Satan's heart, isn't it? Therefore, we have been saying that. Satan's heart is heart. Heart. Do you understand? This is the reason why we're not saved. No religion has saved us yet. Because we thought that Satan's heart is heart. After all, finally, Everybody was defeated by Satan. Everybody understands this clearly at last. I want you to listen to the three-day seminar this time. Please be clear that God exists in the spirit mind and Satan exists in the physical mind. And to be saved, I need to exterminate Satan in the physical mind completely. 
Personality does not matter. When I spoke about the word, you may think that the word is about that person, this person, that person. We should listen to the word for the sake of ourselves, right? なるべく余分なこと言わないようにしないと。カメラがしっかりありますからね。ちょっと市場が硬いないです。いや、なんなんてかとね。ちょっと五条がて手が上がらないですね。で、そう言おうとしたけど、あ、カメラがある。じゃあ、神様はね。Then how did God originally create man? It is the creation of heaven and earth. The creation of heaven and earth. How about the creation on earth and in heaven? God exists in the spirit mind. God created all things. God created all living things in this earthly world. Earthly world. God created the earthly world. Therefore, what takes form is all God. God can express form. God. Everything on the earthly world. Did you know that? From flowers, animals, plants, fish, birds, all are God. Yes? God looks like a man? No, he isn't. Tenryism teaching says, the earth is God's physical body. Control him. Then say that the earth itself is God. Therefore, God created all living things in nature. Therefore, God has only form. form. Therefore, whatever has form is God. Really? Is that so? Yes, it is. Therefore, if God expresses his love, he can only express it through form. A beautiful flower, a lovely animal, only form. Therefore, if God tried to give love to us, he expresses only form. Really? God's love is form, isn't it? Yes, it is. It is form. Therefore, everything in this world, all things in nature, were created by God. Because God loved man. They are what God's love was expressed in, in form. Everything on the earthly world is all God's love. Now, cherry blossoms are beautiful. <laughs> this is fallen man. He cannot love God. He cannot praise God. How about us? Almost all of us do not see the flowers. Do you look at the flowers? No, we don't. I always pass with the thought that this flower is something I see from my car. I always pass with the thought that, oh, if this flower blooms, a cherry blossom blooms beautifully. I always think like this. When the time for flower to bloom, I look down and pass the road, not knowing that the flower is already gone. Oh, when did it fall? In this way, I haven't seen the cherry blossoms yet this year. When I walk the road, just looking at it a little bit. That is, we can say that we cannot understand God's love at all. Then what do we look at? Where do you look? Maybe a bank book? <laughs> oh, here she is talking about the same word. You only look at a bank book. <laughs> I have saved some. Some yen, some, some yen. A bank book for a loan. Oh, I have paid this amount of money. Something like that. 
Almost all cases are like this. There is no one who looks at God. It means that you are looking at Satan only. A bank book is Satan. Oh, really? Is it Satan? Yes, it is. Satan tries to control us through money. Everybody is bound by money. Is it right? You are bound by money, aren't you? Satan is very skillful. When we come to have plenty of goods, then Satan takes all from us through wars, and Satan makes us lead a poor life again. Because we had no money, I have killed my child. I have not been able to see doctors either. You said so, and you came to have more and more attachment to money. You came to have more and more attachment to material things. Then you became rich, and then Satan caused wars to burn everything again, and then again. Now, as in the Japan Great Earthquake, Satan took away everything from us and made us poor again. This is it. Satan is skillful. He is good at making man suffer. However, finally now, we should get rid of such a world, shouldn't we? Then, this is God's portion of responsibility. In a sense, God's portion of responsibility. God's portion of responsibility. God's portion of responsibility is 95%. What was it? God created all things in this way. Then, what is man's portion of responsibility? Man's portion of responsibility is... Man's portion of responsibility is 5%. Man's portion of responsibility is 5%. What is this? This is a world of true love. I have said that. God's love is only expressed by form. This is God's love. God's love. God's love is only expressed by form. And man is true love. True love. Where is the world of true love? Man creates true love in one's heart, man's heart. That means Adam and Eve's heart. There are so many Adam and Eves on this earth. We create true love in Adam and Eve's heart. True love is... Do you understand? We create true love in Adam's heart and Eve's heart. And this world of true love means the spirit world. Therefore, the kingdom of heaven on earth, the kingdom of heaven in heaven, of course we can create the kingdom of heaven on earth. In myself, through true love, what God wanted us to establish was that we may create the kingdom of heaven in heaven. Therefore, Tenryism's teachings say that in the spirit world, God was alone and felt worrisome. God was all alone. Then God created all the creation and wanted man to be united into one with him to establish the spirit world. Now, the true father said, there is no one in the kingdom of heaven in heaven, right? It is because we have not perfected ourselves. We should become perfect as a couple. God wished men to reach perfection and go to the kingdom of heaven. This is the creation of heaven and earth. Therefore, God created all living things, nature on earth. And we can perfect true love in the earthly world. And we create the world to live eternally with God in the spirit world. This is the kingdom of heaven. This is the reason why the Father said there is no one who entered the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Then, okay? Got it?